one is lemon. 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 Today I'm going to be playing Ooblets. Ooblets came out July 15th, I think, this year, 2020. And I played it when it came out, and this is just early access, so, you know, not uh, not all the content is out there yet. It's not gonna, what you see isn't necessarily gonna be the final product. Um, I played it back then, and I haven't touched it for a really long time because I didn't really have much to do. I'd kind of gotten through most of the content, but now there's been the Nullware update, and it's all very spooky, perfect for Halloween. As far as I'm aware, we have, let's see, we have some new crops, new NPCs, whole new region to explore, new ooblets, new craftables, so like new recipes and stuff. So there's really quite a lot of new things. For anyone who hasn't played before, ooblets is a game that sort of mixes the vibe of Pokemon and Stardew Valley. You plant an ooblet seed on your farm and then in a couple days it's ready to harvest and you have a new ooblet. You do dance battles with them and you get new seeds and XP and stuff. I kind of get like a Viva Pinata vibe from it. So yeah, we'll just go into the game and see the new content. I don't remember where I left off, to be honest. <laughs> it's been so long. Okay, this is where I last left off. There's my little house and my character. And these are all my little ooblets as well. These are the ooblets I had. This is my favorite, 100%. Look at your little face. I gave them all names, so this isn't the actual <laughs> ooblet names. I just, I love all the designs. I really like that it's kind of gone for quite a nature look for most of them. Here's my little farm so far. So this is sort of how you go about doing things if you haven't played before. You plant things. Um, I don't have any ooblets to plant right now. I will hopefully have some later. Here's my little house. It's quite cozy. I haven't upgraded the house at all, so it's quite small. Here's another little thing you can do in ooblets as well. You can actually <laughs> do a little bit of cooking as well. One of the new things was new crops. So let's see if there are any new ones here. Muzz seed, spring bean. Mm. No, nothing new. There's a ch oh, you know why? I think because I I need to go to sleep. Oh. I wonder if they added it where you can sleep until daytime. That would be excellent. You're not even sleepy. But I want the next day. I want to go to nowhere. Well, fine. I guess I'll just make myself tired then. Okay, I finally managed to get to the end of the day. I had to just stand there and till the ground until my character was tired enough. Ah, oh, rainy day. Though I guess that's good for spooky update. Maybe I should put on a spooky outfit too. I think this will do. It's kind of spooky, kind of dark. And in your seeds? What did you do? Let's see. To know where we go. No, the Ooblet got left behind! <gasps> Spooky music. Oh, that's really eerie. I swear, if you're another creep cult recruit here to haunt our swamp. Uh, what? No? I can't go anywhere anymore without these cultist goofballs popping out to give me a heart attack, ruining my daily power walks. Cultists? The creep cult. They're these Halloween half-wits who turned up to Noah to act all spooky. Definitely me not being a part of this cult. Nope, I'm not here for the spook. They don't think us Noel natives fit the aesthetic of the swamp, and so they've been trying to scare us out. This used to be a relaxing place for folks to take quiet, pleasant walks, and now it's full of these kids acting all spooky, and they're creeping everybody out. You know how kids these days are with their fads and Halloween cults. Me included. I'm just here to turn on the Ubnit Tower. That's a lie. That is a lie. I'm here for the spook. Well, good luck. The creep cult took that over as their headquarters. Who knows what kitschy, macabre baloney they get up to in there. If you convince them to let you in, maybe you can convince them to stop bothering everyone. Ah! Huh? Gemba. A mysterious crystalline thingy used in potions and as part of overpriced art at Craft Fest. Ooh! If they're trying to scare the residents away from their homes, then that's definitely not very nice. <gasps> oh! That's so cute! I want to dance with these boys. Roast eggs. Oh, I don't have that. Oh man, I really want to fight with these guys. Oh, what's this? Oh, this is where the new seeds are. Oh. Uh. Well, it just so happens I have a lot of money, so. Well, I will take 10. 
Yay! Hello! Ooh! Spooky noise is coming at you to disturb and terrify. Wow, good job. Can you point me in the Oobnet Tower? My character does not care. Never! Only the highest level creep cardinals are allowed to enter the temple. What? D do I not qualify? What if I beat you in an Oobnet dance off? Yeah, sure, no problem. Hell yeah, let's do it. Oh my gosh, they're so cute! I really want them! Let's do this. Dance, dance. And then this. Very groovy music. Let's gain one height. That way I'll be able to get more from my dance moves. Ah, let's just do this one. These two. Oh, I'm very close to winning. Very, very close. They ain't got nothing on me. Look at those eight points. Wait, I can only earn two points. I need three points. But wait, gain one height. Yes, it all worked perfectly. Wait, hold on, go back. And while I'm at it, I might as well gain a random crop seed. Yay! I win not only the battle, but a seed. Ha, huh, I lost. So anyway, the tower is just up this path a ways. Okay. Thank you. Run. Oh, wait, already? Damn. M mind letting me through? Ha, never, but maybe if you can beat my ghoulish glanted team, I'll cap cap capitulate? I'm easy going like that. Okay, sure. Oh, I want them too. Oh, I really like his mask. That's actually really cute. I want the artwork. Ah, I'm so close. Stun two random opponents for two turns. Wow, that's kind of rude. Gain a single point. Wow. You're sure showing me. Oh, come on. Still four points. Still four points. Do you really think you're going to win? Time for me to skulk off into the darkness of the night. Bye bye. What's around here? Oh. Nothing? Is this just... Mild confusion at this area. Oh, another person to fight? Oh no, it's a nowhere native. Those tarnation creepsters. One of them jumped out and scared my sweet Ugum off into the wild. He's a big boy, but he's very timid and all alone somewhere out there. Oh. Yeah, I'll look for them. If you find him, please bring him back to me. You don't think he was round here, do you? Now that I've gotten the quest. Oh, of course, now he's there. Hello. Come with me. Well, he really is big. I've never seen an ooblet quite so big. I brought him back. You found him. Oh, thank goose snaps. Please take this reward for bringing my baby back to me. <gasps> Roaster eggs! That's what I need. I needed that to get the ooblet I wanted. Hmm, what's over this bridge? It's quite a large e <laughs> Why is he standing there just with his arms up when no one's even around? <laughs> okay, what do you want? Jump scare! Wow, you really got me. No thanks, could you practice that somewhere else maybe? Maybe if you think you can beat me in a dance battle. Yes, I think I can. Who shall I take with me? Oh, he's ready to go. Look at him. <laughs> Fair play, I'll see if there's somewhere else that's more receptive to my hair raising haunting. People will pay for that sort of thing, you know, dude. Hi, I'm Spooky Steve, the spookiest fella around. I've been told I'm endearing. What do you think? You're fine. Maybe? <laughs> I feel that the locals around here aren't too fond of your cultists spooking everything up. Is cultist... Cult seems a bit intense. It seems like just a bunch of... <laughs> Random people just being a bit spooky. I never really thought about it, but now that you mention it, we are pretty inconsiderate with like the whole haunting people deal. Tell you what, if you bring me five bunglebee buns to munch on, I'll head home. My heart's not really in it with all this anyway. Bunglebee buns. Seems fair, I'll be back. Bring him the bunglebee. I don't know if I have that. Do I have that? <gasps> What's over here? Hello? Witchy Wilbur. 
Don't mind me, I'm just a witch, unaffiliated with the creep cult. Maybe we could be spooky without bothering anyone. The townies don't seem to mind me, I give them extra gembridge, which they seem to like. Can you give me one? That said, I'll still battle you if you'd like the practice. Uh, sure. World fluster. That's just rude. Ah, oh, and now this card would give me a whole zero points. Wow. Hmm. I guess I should... Wait, can I just win? No, I can't. I will do this. I think I can win now. Win? Yay! So, do I maybe get anything from it? Well done, you should have this recipe I concocted to commemorate your victory. Gloom bun. A burger of terror and despair, although GMO free. <gasps> that sounds really cool. Can I go in your house? Well, I guess technically, yes. This is not what I had in mind though. The bungalow buns, let me see if I can go and get those. Let's go back to Badgetown. What are we waiting for? <laughs> Why did you take so long? We've got places to be, bro. Uh, uh, was it glove buns? Oh no. Oh no, I have forgotten. I have forgotten what he wanted. No, no, no. Um, hello, I bought nothing. What was it you wanted? Bungle buns. Okay. Uh, I'm writing it down. Oh, my freaking just eat delivery. Get in! Get in! Thank you. Come on. Ah! What's a girl to do? What's a girl to do even? <gasps> Wait! You! Bungleby Buns! <laughs> we go. We go back immediately. <laughs> I think the Bungleby Buns are literally like, you get them on the first day. You know, it's been a while since I've played, okay? <gasps> Give me a break. Have you got them? Here you go. A deal's a deal. I'm off to spook people somewhere else then, or maybe I'll pick up knitting. That sounds very nice. Oh, and you can have these gemberers I found while I was waiting for you. Just make your own spooky house, dude. People will literally pay to go there. Thank you for the gems. Uh, shove me out the way, why don't you? Wait, what about your ooblets? You left your ooblets. They're all alone. Aw. Who set up camp here? Was that this dude? Did he just leave his ooblets and his camp? And a roaring fire? That's a hazard. Okay. Oh. You know, she's actually kind of creepy. <laughs> Hello? Welcome to the land of the living dread. I'm here to strike fear into all passerby. That's a noble girl, but what if instead of that you did anything else? <laughs> like what? Well, you can dance battle me. Hmm, interesting proposal. Let's see how I like it. Stun two random opponents. No, oh, why'd you do this? That was actually pretty fun. I think I might go around dancing instead of all this creep crud. Bye. I see another guy up ahead. Will the battles ever end? Ahoy, quite a shame about the creep cult coming in, scaring everyone out of town. A here port forward is a great little town with no such problems. Might be a good place to move if you're planning on leaving. No, I'm fine. I just so happen to have a prime oceanfront property there that I'll be willing to sell you. I've already got a house. I don't live in nowhere. Oh, you must be a creep cultist. Really appreciate you folks increasing demand and property values in port forward by scaring everyone out of it. That's not very nice. Uh, have my business card in case you haunt up any new leads. Casting off. Wow, <gasps> look at the decorations. Ooh. Let's go in here. Who dares step foot into the sacred creep temple in my personal hangout zone? Grand Arch Proto Creepster Pezboot. That is too long a name. Pretty sure this is public property. You shouldn't be living here. You sound so ignorant right now. I'm the Grand Arch Proto Creepster, founder of the Creep Cult, the most terrifying ghoul to have ever haunted these cursed lands. Okay, I don't really care about any of that. I'm just here to turn on this Ubnit Tower. My sacred creep temple? First, you're not allowed in here. Second, no. This dude. If the tower turns on, all the lights turn on in here, which wrecks the whole vibe I've got going. Yeah, you can't be turning on all the lights for Halloween. That just ruins the atmosphere. 
What did we have a dance-off to decide? Ludicrous! There's nothing in it for me. I'd never give up my temple over a silly dance-off with someone who couldn't frighten a flea ball. <laughs> Sounds to me like you're scared. That- are you kidding me? Seriously, I know this is a ploy, but seriously, how insulting. Okay, let's just get this over with. Your trembly little ooblets don't stand a chance anyway. Oh wow, he's got big- this big team! Boss fight! Oh my god, that's a lot of cards. Uh, right. Gain two points every time a move is played this hand. Yeah, I mean, it's free. Earn ten points after two... I guess I'll do this. And then just this for now. Steal up to four points? That's just rude. Oh, this is a good one. Gain three points and one height. Is there anything that I can combine that with? Maybe this one. Yeah. Oh my god, I'm stupid! I'm stupid. I'm stupid. How many did that cost even? Fine, whatever, we'll stun someone. Am I gonna lose? <laughs> he doesn't even see me as a threat, he's just gathering gems up in here. Yay, I got some points though! Okay. Let's see what this does. Maybe I can get something good. Ooh, yeah, okay, let's do that, let's do that. And then I'll play lots of little ones, so this... Yeah, let's do this two one, and then I'll do two one cards. This seems like a good plan. Look, I'm so close to winning! Please, don't f*** me over, please do not. Stun two random opponents for two turns. That could be bad for me. No! Okay. I, I, I'm okay. Can I just get s six points really quickly? Yes, I can. <laughs> yes. I really shouldn't have let you trip me into wagering my lair over a dance-off. I suppose you'll be wanting to flip your stupid switch now. Well, go on. Okay. I will. I pull. Oh, that's actually quite nice. That's a bummer. I'm not sure how I'm going to strike fear without a dark spooky light. He's got a little rubber ducky. And I keep hearing all my cultists have been giving up our mission of scaring those pastel plumbed townies out of town. How am I supposed to live my best fright life under these circumstances? Maybe it's time to change the strategy. Yeah, maybe don't just overtake a town with spookiness when they don't want it. What if you bought your own place and let people who want to be frightened to come to you? That's what I've been saying this whole time! Who would even sell me a place to spook up? Oh my god, you just, you just don't get it. I think I might actually know somebody who could help. What is it? Is it that port person we saw before? Who's like, hmm, here's my business card if you want to buy a property. It all comes together. Reconnect the Nowhere Ubnet Tower, yay! Are there any extra little things I can pick up? from here. Any spookers. Ah, this chair is now mine. Your chairs are mine. Let's take this with me. Oh. Well. Is he just gonna follow me? What? Oh yeah, when I turn around, you pretend you're not following me. That's kind of weird, bro. Well, I think I'm going to conclude that there. Um, I, I managed to get through all the dance battles and get through all of nowhere. But I still, I really want to grow the new crops and make new recipes and then hopefully try and get some of these new ooblets like these ones here. So I can always do another part, but for now, I'm just going to leave it there. So thank you for watching and I'll see you later. Bye!